So, how do you calculate molality? What is molality? The number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent. Okay. So, the number of moles of solute is 1000x by mw in 1 liter of solution. Okay. And in 1 liter of solution, how many kg of solvent are there? d minus x is the weight of the solvent in gram. So, to convert it to kg, you need to divide it by 1000. Okay. So, you have 1000x by mw. This is the number of moles of solute and this is the weight of solvent in kg. So, if you divide this, you will get molarity. So, this divided by d minus x by 1000 will give you m. Now, this 1000 x by w, mw, you can directly replace as m from equation 1 in equation 2. So, this would be m divided by d minus x by 1000. So, this would go up will be equal to m. And what was x? 1000 x by mw was m. So, x would be m into mw divided by 1000. Now, put this x again over here. What would you get? You get 1000 m divided by d minus m into mw by 1000 is equal to m. And the rest, I mean x is now eliminated and the rest you just have to rearrange, put this 1000 over here, make it go over there and stuff like that. And you will have the relation between m and m, capital M and small m in terms of d and mw. So that is how you find the relation between molarity and molarity. So any sum, I have done this in a general way. So any question you get from this change into molarity or find the molarity given the density is this. You just have to break this density and then multiply, divide accordingly to get the number of moles in 1 liter of solution or in case of molality, the number of moles in 1 kg of solvent. Now, uh, if an extension to this question, maybe the molecular weight of solvent is also given and it is maybe ms. Now, you have to find the relation between m, m and x, a, where a is the solute. Okay. x is the mole fraction of the solute. So, m and m we have already found. So, to find the mole fraction of the solute, you can see that x by mw, this is the number of moles of the solute because we considered x gram of solute in uh, one, I think one cc of solution. So, this is the number of moles of solute in 1 cc. Now, always keep this 1 cc over here since we are taking x 
as a variable thing, this one cc should be kept constant. Because if you change that one cc, then this x will change. So all the things you take, this is the mole of number of moles of solute, this is the number of moles of solvent, and everything is in one cc of solution. So this divided by the total number of moles should be x by mw plus d minus x by ms because d minus x is the weight of the solvent and ms is the molecular weight of the solvent. So this would be, give, be giving you the number of moles of the solvent and add it to number of moles of the solute, the total number of moles you have got and this is the number of moles of solute. So that would give you x a. Okay. And again, molarity, the old equation, molarity would be x into 1000 by mw. So again, substitute this x everywhere, or w you can substitute, no, you have to substitute x only. x everywhere, and then you will get this relation between m and x. And you have already got the relation between m and small m, so that is why this m and x a would uh, then from that relation you can get the relation between small m and x a. Okay. Next, now we are moving from quantities or rather solutions or mixtures to reactions because that's where this mole concept and stoichiometry is more used. Like if this much of solute is, if this much of reactant is there, how much product will be formed, what could its volume be at this temperature, this pressure, these type of questions generally come. 